Oh, hello. Certainly has now. Simple will be up against a few players here. Three to be exact as they barrel down towards a long position. Simple is gifted a bit of a freebie there and they're flashing themselves as well. We are going to see a bit of a nightmare here. Simple does get the first couple of frags. He's bought so much time for the rotations here. It's a full commitment towards the A side. And the bomb should be going down here. We'll see if that's going to be the case. Norma patrolling towards Optimus and Nina defending with that P250. This is going to be a tough one to defend. Flashes over from Boomich. He's got a kit as well and they're taking so much damage. Closing the gap is Electronic, but he's found by Neerland. Another chance. Norbert squanders it, and Neerland's the last to fall. It will be a Na'Vi retake and 1 0. Who's taken that? So look at their limited nades. We've got two smokes for this. So there goes one towards the bin side. Kriaz has the other, likely when he gets it towards bank after their first frag. No information just yet. No fights being given. Flashing in. First fight found. It's Boomish hanging around that Optimus area. He needs to clear it. Kios does catch him, and that's the start. Another frag found. He's got a 3v2 here. Oh, Electronic was there the entire time. And Kios, he's found them a uh, three versus one now. Perfecto, the former Sonic Gaming member, will be taken down in the process, and it will be their first round here. Pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be right back on track. Here we go, though, towards the short area. It is going to be a fast push in towards the B-bomb side. Boom, wow. defender, and it looks great for him in terms of the lineup. But two kills against Na'Vi, make it four. Simple is wondering what the hell just happened in round number five there. He's got no chance of winning this one. And Simon Gaming are on their feet here, boys. They're looking ready for this one. Simple's going to be tested here. First, Norbert can trade, and he does. No warp for Na'Vi. That's actually huge as well. We just saw... Learn from your elders, right? If you're talking about Quake, a one-on-one -on -one game, you can never develop your skills or learn, and that's why those games don't really thrive and bring in new players. And we'll see some of those names stepping up right now. Perfecto, he'll get the first kill towards Norbert, and this is looking much better for Na'Vi now. We've got a four versus three, plainly back into safer territory, but his teammates certainly Ooh. not. A couple of kills found once again, and it's going to be Simon Gaming with the advantage. Electronic, he'll still run away from Connector. A decent grenade towards the bomb site here, but still... I need rotations now as Simple will join him from the connector itself. Good flash. Yeah, very good flash, and it converts into a kill as well. That's the bomb down, and suddenly, just like that, Simon Gaming are on the back foot. Gears over pushed. Both of them double swinging into it does make it a rather easy affair, and AWP as well for Simple into the next. The lion's share of almost every single encounter. They have to be more tactical <laughs> team. As I say that, though, a magnificent shot from Norbert. Yeah, pound for pound, you were saying, Hank. And it seems sure. like Neilan, he's been gaining a little bit and he's actually recovered the rifle. I wonder if Boomich noticed that. He sees oh. the pin pulled to so many targets. He does inflict good damage, but he leaves with just the one dog tag. That's maybe not enough for four versus two. Simple needs one now, misses his shot. Now smoked off. This should be another Simon round. It seems to become theirs. Yeah, the B bomb side is looking very good for them. I mean, one player going down, that's Norbert. The man who cracked things open with the Desert Eagle. Mosvik prepared for this. He was expecting a play like that from Electronic, and now already a free opening frag has been gifted to them. They don't have to do anything else now. They can regroup. From the top rope. Yeah, he was trying to RKO him <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> so, Boomage, he fancies to go now. Oh, he still hits the shot. Norbert finds another entry onto those B players. I'd get, look, I'd get bored having to sit there and just watch that, hoping someone would peek, so... Completely blinded, but still stands his ground. A lot of steps. He's going to find the first. Anticipating the trade, and he's caught him. That's the simple stuff. And he does indeed make it look easy, too. Sent packing back towards the B site. Norbert's got space. Perfecto's going to spot him, but he doesn't get a chance to adjust. And now suddenly, Simon Gaming, it looked dire. It looked like Simple had done enough, but they've got space into the site. Where's the bomb? It's wow. already crossed. This is actually looking like a very good overpass so far for Simon Gaming. Bear in mind, they're up against the world number one right now. And this is actually looking Ooh. impressive. A wall bang is delivered. Norbert to convert it. He'll get both the kills in the end there. Four kills. And a little nade set up here. I this like it. do damage. Will it get the kill, though? It's looking promising and just down to 29. It looked perfect. Just not quite enough. Kios has already found Electronic. He's got a lovely little nade to smoke off the front of Long. Simple's ahead of it, though. Oh, Kios, you are surely screwed here. He'd have to get... Oh, the perfect timing, and he does. I think Simple was playing anti-flash. He may have heard a pin pulled, but he looked away just at the wrong moment. And now space again found for Simon's T-side. I was questioning how this was even going to be competitive yep. for Simon Gaming. Maybe I should have been questioning how this was even going to be competitive for Na'Vi because their tendencies on the B-bomb site are constantly being looked at and toyed with by Simon. They're ready for the boosts. They know the, the positions that they like to play. They're harassing with Molotovs, HEs. And now they're just peeling him out of the server one man at a time. Yeah, you can see why Simon have picked this map. He's actually looking quite good for them. And this is a, a big game for Na'Vi as well. 
to make that as tiny of a target as possible. This nade looks promising from Flamey. Should take them down a slow them down, doesn't do any damage, and instead it's going to be Perfecto to open up the proceedings. Another miss. That one's going to hurt. Flamey needs to hit the quickie, and he does. A second chance, and Kriaz can't believe his luck. Simple, finding an equalizer, and then another one. Puts him into a clutch that he totally can win. A one versus three, essentially. Well, it will be Kriaz remaining here. 20 seconds, and he will be trying to get the bomb down here, but Simple applying a lot of pressure. Met by the bullets of that AK. This is going to be Kriaz winning yet another round. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, Kriaz is now on the other team, so yeah, he must have disconnected. Okay, so there's no, there's no. Yeah. They've lost their fifth. <laughs> We've, they've lost a player. And there was damage dealt. So as far as I understand the rules, unless Simon Gaming want to restart, this will just have to stand. Well, Simple will try his best to pull the round back in their favor. It is currently a three versus four. Ignore the GUI for now. We are going to see whether Simon Gaming converts. It's going to be the to defend here. 45 seconds. And the commitment is coming through. Flamey trying to avoid the grey screen of the smoke. Can he upgrade to the AK-47? No. Doesn't feel comfortable. Tucks himself in the corner. And now... It's actually going to be Norma pulling a frag oh back. Oh my Three god. He does this so many times. And Kriaz has caught another. That frag from Boomich is everything. But now he knows that the space has been found on B. Where's the bomb? It's on Mo's back, and he's heard the retreat of Boomich, so he'll be trying to scarp her over there. Space being taken by Norbert in the meantime as well. He would need to find the cleanest of kills. Yeah, this first one is the hardest of the two. Yeah. Oh, his crosshair was there. I had a feeling, but no. Norbert stands strong and finds yet another. Molotov towards the barrel, smoke heaven, and that's usually enough. Flashbang towards shore, though, allows Boomich to get out of the connector. Spots one. Friends and packing. A nice shot from both teams here. Four and four. Looking promising. Only Mo holding the sight, but he holds that shot and holds his nerve. Gets it. Krias as well onto Boomich. Looks like Na'Vi will have nothing left by the time they actually get into the sight. Now being pushed down. It's Mo with a triple kill. His first real announcement of his presence here in the server, and it's a big one. He's got such a good line for this. He doesn't need to do much. He can just stay crouched. If he walks out, he'll be visible. With 30 seconds remaining, he'll actually get on. And that's a fantastic opening kill for the CT side. They've taken a lot of damage on route, so Na'Vi still have a fighting chance here. But what have they got left? A single smoke, no flashes. Oof, that's Simple ballsy. Simple Galil, he won't nail that first shot. Mo just crossing knife out. My god, that scared me. Never mind him. Attention drawn. Simple's back turned, and he bides his time for the strike. Not quite as precise as he needed to be, but it does enable Mo bomb to get down. the frag. And with a bomb loose, this round is won. Perfecto can even die after time. He's fighting on long. Looks like he's safe and sound, but damage done. That's 14 for Simon Gaming. That's being held for now by his teammate. Nice hold. No, but will touch shut him down. And so that means Mo can focus all of his attention on this line and the timing, just as Boomich was on his way into the site. Falls back to a more passive line. Where's that bomb, though? It's on simple. It's yet to get to the site. They're faking Again? this. Oh, dude. They're You're trying to so go B. Right. He's not going to... He dies and it's over. He, he's definitely dead. So he's not winning this round. He's 15 found. So if this scoreline continues and we find a 16-4, that will be... I'm looking through all of the matches right now since Perfecto has joined the roster. It'll be the worst loss they've ever had. You guys at home, in case you make a booby like me. I also once made a bit of a boo. But it wasn't as bad as that because Simple grabs one. Now we have three on four. Still a doable. Chance. Yeah, absolutely doable. And they actually found some access towards the B side as well. But smoke down towards short makes things a little bit more complicated for them. And Kios, he knows they're coming, but he's in an awful position. It's wow. still good for one. Kriaz, that might be enough here. The incendiary, the HE combo as well is going to do a ton of damage with the bomb tie here. Oh. The bullets somehow don't connect. Oh, how are they still alive here? Barnley goes down. Oh. Looks like we're all done here, boys. One more kill will do it. He's flaming to keep the dream alive. His ninth frag found. He's going to need two more, and it's not going to be good enough. Wow, we've done it there. Ladies and gentlemen, overpass concludes. Anything but. The rivalry continues here. Simon Gaming will be entering with a kill against them. That's going to be Boomich finding Nealon. And Electronic looking to find the second. He'll be exploring the options towards middle. Remember, they dropped into spawn last time with Electronic. We saw this pistol round come on through, and he actually denied the rotations. But this time, it's, a, it's all a ruse. They're using the same default at the start, but they're actually hitting A. And Simple's here, his first long-range P250 shot. Mo's in a lot of trouble. He does manage to take one down with him. And that has translated into a winnable retake for Kioz and Kriaz. Oh. Hidden away on the bomb side, Simple defies recovering fire. If they get this kill quickly, there is a good chance here. But that's all they have to do. Ooh. They have to get this headshot. It's still being very unlikely now. Electronic, they'll be taking care of the first and the second not far behind them. Kriaz gets peppered down to zero as Na'Vi pick up a much needed pistol here. Oh, this is the, the little eco strategy. You don't cross anyone at the very start, and you're going to try and sneak them across. 
But Jumping. it has been <laughs> I love the idea. A lot of fun, but looks like it will be a massacre for this Mag-10. He's run out of bullets. The Glock will have to suffice, and it does. Ladies and Boom gentlemen, Mitch. Simple's a stolen by the Boomich Glock. He's furious. They go to set up his focusing this long position and Simple off himself up. It's actually going to bring things back into contention. The bomb goes oh, down. Oh, it's a dream. They can make this work. It is kind of hinging on Mo, though. And then another one into the smoke. He knew it was a bomb retrieval mission, and he's cut Flamey down to size as well. What was a 5v3 equalized by the major champion Orpa. Kios has to get out of there. Well, they have to go away now. They don't have any choice. There's only 30 seconds left. Chill. Don't right. want to give them that fight, but Boomich does. And another free frag. Mo, he's done his job. They're running out of time again here. Na'Vi made this mistake over and over again. Mo was on for yet another frag there. That would have been his fourth, but there will be 10 seconds remaining here. So the all-important cross. And who's got the bomb at this stage? It will be electronic. He's going to forward cross over here, and he will not. That's going to be the round. There's no way he can plant that bomb, especially with six points of health there. So a five on three, boys. So they have another advantage here. Plenty of utility and time. Calm rest on the laurels, though. Working together, the buddy system there. Taking down Mo, who was the danger man in the previous round. And there's only one player left in towards that B bomb site. A five on two, unless Kriaz goes nuclear here. Should be no problem to run over this B bomb site. Or plenty of time for the trades. It would just have to be an oversight if he somehow gets three kills. Yeah, I'd almost preferred it when he was hiding. Now he's going to go one. Not even that. Gets caught by Electronic on the window. The steps from Tunnel drew his fire. Or rather, his attention lest his fire didn't pull the trigger. So, Neilan, if he holds on to this, I'll be impressed. There we go. On the entry, and you're ready for a swinging sniper if they go for it. Very comfortable for him. He will eat the first flash, but time has elapsed, and he can return to vision, return to fragging. Boomich on the split is perfectly positioned. Kios, he bide his time just in case there was a second, and there is, but Electronic very far behind. He won't be joining the party just yet. In fact, he's gone down. Now just two remain. And Naman, most done enough. He doesn't actually have to fight because Kriaz could do the rest. Simple, desperate for the frag. He gets the fight, but Mo will prevail. And a clean, spotless defense. That's a good point. <laughs> it really is. Kriaz, chaos, chaos, chaos. It's all caused by the two of them on B. It certainly was in the round before, but Mo, okay, spots one. He knows short's an issue as well. Tucking into Goose, he's played this well, needs one. A stray spot, shot through the smoke, and now a connection. It's Boomich gone. Kios catching one with his AWP, but Na'Vi have the sight. They certainly oh, do now. Okay. Simple, what a shot. Kios gets another. He's the now nade. got to clutch it. The nade does tag up Perfecto, upgrades to the AK. He knows where he hides. He could even get the jump shot here. He could. He has no utility. There's a flashbang available on the CT side. They're making some noise now. He knows that goose be a possibility oh, wow. and nails the shot as well. What a lovely adjustment, I have to say. Turn for Mo. And right now, Mo's not scared of anything. Yeah, the, oh, the oh, jump. The jump is questionable. Yeah, he wanted to check the close wall run up, try and get the calls if it's a fake or not. But yeah, the under smokes will arrive. It's actually a CT smoke. That's interesting. They, they filled the, the gap. Yeah, that's a little bit odd, but it could have hit the smoke, I suppose. But they still pull a couple of kills back here. It's a four on two, and with 35 seconds left, it's up to Boomage and Perfecto, the latter of which getting tagged heavily in that exchange. Going for a cheeky bomb plant here, but it baits them out. And it will be the shot from Gandalf that secures the round here. Kios with the flank wow. along. They've actually managed to scrape together three rounds in a row here. Looked like we had a, we had a, another overpass on our hands, but with the tables turned, it seems that no. Simon Gaming maintains some solid defense here. They've lost their opening man this time, and Neelan, a very impactful player so far on the CT side. Ahead of the molly, smoked it off. Electronic wants to commit, but Mo's ready and waiting. If he gets a second, there was no flashes for Electronic there, and oof, a good shot from Boomich digs them back out of that hole. That could have been the round in itself. An orbit towards CT spawn. Bomb only just goes down now. CTs don't have amazing cash, but still interested in this retake for now. They need to wait for the smoke to go down towards shore. Once that happens, they can flash around the corner. Flashbang deployed, but no success found. Normal removed, and it looks very good for Na'Vi now to maintain their lead at 6 to 5. It's just going to be Kios now. Money not fantastic. The C stream right now, uh, Dexter, he just had a Dak Dak, so check that out. Oh, love a good Dak Dak, and that flash was perfect from Kriaz. Unfortunately, he flashed himself, and that doesn't enable him to have any advantage on it. The B site's already lost, and so is the round. You're going to have to save. This is... Uh... .esl one.com for all the action. Counter-Strike.
Shot at this point. Okay. Not really nail it down. It's not your strong years. suit. No, it's not. Sleep isn't, but uh, shouting and making noise it certainly is. We're getting straight into the action here as a couple of kills from Neelan. This desperate round as well, but simple continues to be an absolute menace for them. Three on three. Pulls it right back. A nice, aggressive maneuver there from the CT side. Narvi weren't expecting it. Oh, straight through the smoke. That's a good catch from Flamey. 24 as the bomb goes down. I say that. Flamey may have some issues planting. It was simple. Excuse me. He's got a safe spot. Joe is burning. He's burning down to 40. He's been forced oh, to cancel it. That's huge. A time again here, boys. This would be monumental. They give it around in this sort of fashion. The swing comes through, and it will be simple to find the kills. Everything returns to normality there. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> Step into the line of fire, and he will. <laughs> Mo says no. Get out of the server. Put that down in the dirt. Flamey, however, has put two in their place. Neil and Norbert both added to the kill tally. Wow. A four on three, the auto sniper doesn't really deliver to the expectations we were wanting at that stage, but still, just the pistols and now a four uh, versus oh. two. Oh, Kios, <laughs> he'll do what he can, but uh, has to recover a rifle at this point. Oh, the boost, perfect. They use the weapon as a bait. And here they come, the fishies, clamping their jaws shut on the hook. This Kriaz doesn't get much of a chance into that one. So Na'Vi, they take nine on their attack. Or well, take some down anyway, I should say. Simple. Okay. For a oh. bit of intel and a great shot from Mo. who continues his strong fall and does too. A big pistol. But they've got full A control. Yeah, this could be scary for Neil. And he realizes he has to go through long. It's not safe to go through middle. If Boomich gets any kills here, they're in trouble. Yeah, this kill onto Boomich they is everything. They have to pair up. It doesn't matter when Norbert's hitting the first shot out of his clock in the round. And Strong arms. Maybe you're going to try and throw it across. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, no issues there. And there is a presence on shore. Flamey has to try and stop someone. As this bomb goes down, he knows one of the players lies idle. And now Chance and a great oh. shot, but quickly found in return. The Deagle on the pistol. Neelands does find one in the feed and a second chance, but quickly massacred. It's electronic. He's on for four. One more headshot. He's getting the fight he wants, but a fresh clip's going to cost him. And it's Kios to save the day. He's decided not to contest their early presence. There's three of them just up there. And oh, Boomich's scouts now found another scalp. Guys, this is getting nerve wracking. Yeah, it doesn't look good for the likes of Simon Gaming here, stuck in the smoke, getting spammed down. Simple help himself to another. They might have given this one up. It was a five on four star for them, and now they really are in hot water. Players all around them, Perfecto waiting towards CT spawn, looking deadly right now. Desert Eagle doesn't quite connect. He takes a bit of damage himself, and Kios and Kriaz working together. Be careful, a short though, Simple is coming through, and he'll be taken out, but for now, a three versus one. God, they're all just around the corner. He's getting shot at by Boomich, and it's perfect. Perfecto will finish it off. Perfecto. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's calling. He might need a bit of backup. He needs a spray. Gets the one, and now Flamey arrives for just the other. It's not going to be sufficient. They get across, and that bomb will be planted. I am going to be very, very surprised if Simon Gaming continue to hit the B bomb site. Critical pressure from tunnels as well. Neilan needs to be very careful here. There's simple fancy this one. They've got AK-47s available. Bomb more than half gone now, and that's surely it. Are they still going to have anything to say about this one? Boomich, he's removed. Simple, still up for the challenge, it seems. But now no time to defuse that bomb. He'll be looking for kills, and my god, how does he do it? It will be another kill through the wall. And that's Norbert removed for the round. It will slip out of his grasp. Simple survives. Flashed off. Commitment now from Norbert. And he's alone. Where are the rest of his teammates? A boost up towards Ziggy Spawn. We don't really like this position too much these days. And no one really looking at him. But the Molotov pretty decent. No kills found for Electronic, but Perfecto will find a second. Big work from Perfecto. Neelan is in a prime position to catch one on the CT position, but he's been found. And so with Electronic finding that, they are kind of stuck. A very awkward situation for the remainder of this round as Really no way in for Kios and Mo, but no way out either. And it's just, yeah, they're pulling the teeth one by one. Last is Mo. He's a little healthier than the rest. A full, strong incisor. It's the only tooth I know. Do you know any other teeth? Mola? Mola's one. Incisor. incisor. Let's have a look. Charging towards B, you said it. They might try and exploit it, and Perfecto's gone down again. Wide open. AK found and a missed shot from Simple. We could be cooking. For Simon Gaming, just on Tech 9 and armor. Nobody's fallen and the bomb is being planted. They recover Perfecto's AK. Surely not the save call. Uh, I only have 28. 28, yeah. yeah. Someone, uh, no someone really got me yeah, uh, today. I read that when you.
bang your teeth together when you're kissing, you're actually touching skeletons. That's a nice way to think about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Like your, your outer skeleton. Don't aim to do that. Your teeth should never really be in contact with each other. That's, that's correct, yeah. Kissing lessons here at the ESL desk. AWP. He able to flash himself up towards Long. It could be big here, but it doesn't look like he's connecting anything at all. Didn't even land a lick of damage towards Boomich. Yeah, but they're just going to charge in. Look at the Flamey's reaction. He's like, oh dear. Trying to get out, but Simple was prepared. And now already, two early frags for Na'Vi. They are closing in on 14 here. And it's down to Electronic to put the final nail in. All three. Flamey actually stealing one of them away. He's asking if we need a second, and they will. Floy his, and he's going to try and extinguish that to stand his ground. Doesn't need to. Chooses two, all the same. More space for him to move, and that's the bomb. Confirmed now as a missed shot from Simple does give them another chance, and he's used it, seized it. Krias gets another. 3v3, 20 seconds. That kill could determine oh. the round, as that's the only one that was within arm's reach of the bomb. 15 seconds remaining now. It looks like Na'Vi have done enough to find map points. It doesn't look like the bomb is even possible to get down at this stage. The kill is found, oh. though. If they knife out, he'll have to just plant straight away. But Norbert, he offers himself up for no real reason there. Mo can win this. One versus one, but Mo can win. Working with a flash, Flamey could. Can't see the bomb, though. So he has to look across over. You have to catch him before he gets to the site, which he does. Nice work from Mo. very calm, well positioned. Excursion towards Long, there is a flash available. Norbert dropped. It's deployed over, and Norbert has gone through, great shot. It's the Galil that comes out on top here. The in-game lead is removed, Electronic, it doesn't look great for him, Mo. He'll convert the kill, but Simple still with that orb, and he's gonna hit that, you know he is. He wants more. Give him an inch, he'll take a mile every single time, and he's up for more here as well. He's got a gap. We know he likes these quick scopes. That's what it'll have to be at this range as <laughs> Nilan just dancing around this smoke. He's dead. He's done full. Apparently not. He pulled the trigger too soon, and this could be Krias oh! gets both. And this is massive. Remember, the money's already low for Na'Vi. They haven't got map points just yet. It's going to be 14-13. Perfecto, the B player. He had just the MP9, and the money is shattered once again here. Uh, here we are, as we go for a long take. Kios, again, the same challenge, and they'll work out for a trade, and this is the kill right here. Norbert hasn't had the cleanest way so far, and this one will be no different as they're left of low HP. This is the fight for map point. It's down to Neelan, the in-game leader. Makes his way up bravely towards Chill, the A-side. Bro. If he just sits there and hides, this could actually be massive. They'll have no idea. Oh, they jumped. Oh, did he see him? Simple. Definitely did. You smart he just cookie. He knows, doesn't he? Every time. He's doing it every right. Every possibility, every chance. That's the fight they were waiting for, and he's done good damage to Hold Simple. Those on. caught another one. If that spray could just connect, but Na'Vi deal with it. Simon Gaming close, but no cigar. Na'Vi will find match point. You could say the same about Kriaz. He is just adamantly holding the B-turns push aggressive. As utility is deployed towards A, two B players, they must surely be wondering where the fight's coming from oh. next. Perfect, a very long range fight. This is big from Perfecto. He hasn't had the best go in the B-bomb side, but Flamey of the Orbit looks like he's destined for a kill here. Norbert will pull one back, but it looks like we're done. Na'Vi looking to close things out, but Mo will keep the dream alive for now. Three versus one, but not for long. Dust two will fall in favor of Na'Vi. Simon Gaming. Well, let's see what can be done then. Simon Ooh. Gaming lose the knife. Na'Vi on the CT side here, and the first frag coming in thick and fast. Any second now, Electronic, he'll be tested here. Multiple players around him, but still no kills. How is no one? Couple. There what? It is. <laughs> Looked like it was going so well for Simon Gaming, just nothing was actually being found. They took a lot of space. Now we were willing to just back it out, take those fights, and here's the multiple fights from multiple angles. And Mo and Kios have just managed to find one apiece. So, is this where the round comes tumbling down? It looks to be the case. So really one more kill for Kriaz, but that's probably going to be it. Uh, but still, towards the E-Box, he would need some fantastic shots here at this point to even do damage. Oh. There's the first, down to 11 HP with Perfecto. He's got some backup there. The former Flamey, who will be finding his third kill of the round, gets himself a nice hat-trick and no bomb planted. So ready to take this fight. Eventually it comes, but Mo hits the headshot. It could only have been a headshot, and he lives to tell the tale. An M4 now loose on Ivy. And in they go, down yeah. towards Ivy as well. And Norbert's just killed the inner player. That's going to get things a bit confusing. A Dink did get caught. I think that was Perfecto, a long-range MP9 bullet. But he's under some scrutiny as well. They rotate through Pop Dog. They plan to hit the outer yard. Nealon, he should be able to get this trade here. It's a chance. It's not going to be easy. Electronic already set up with that FAMAS. Electronic. 
showing us what he's made of here. It's going to come right down to the wire. Three versus two. Flashbang deployed towards Hell and Boomish needs to swing on it. The kill, though, is fantastic from Kriaz. They are showing us what they're made of here, and that's going to be the round. It's a second round force by I was expecting the AK-47s myself. Holes and their Molotov now. This isn't looking good for Navi at all. God, Perfecto still in brown holes. They know it as well. They're throwing nades towards him. Mo's responsibility now. Oh my and God. Norbert's just pushed CT Sport. He wants more electronic. He can't believe he's being pushed, and he certainly won't be able to believe that there's another one waiting for him. Kios, an AWP around the corner. He does have, doesn't have to take that fight, and even smoking simple off. Oh, this fight for Perfecto is important. Controls the spray nicely. Kriaz, he's trying to do a lot and he's actually caught another. Great work between Kios and Kriaz. Um, as soon as they saw where Perfecto was positioned, how quickly... They're right next to each other. They have no idea. He's Who's not going to turn win? either. He, why would he? Look at that great camera rush. Look at this. They are completely like ships in the night passing by one another. It could actually work out for Kriaz though because they think main is clear, right? Mo steals another kill away and boom it. <laughs> Wow. Detected and struck down. It is going to be a two on two. Electronic, remember, he wasn't spotted, even though they were touching into our domain entrance. Bomb he might get down. this kill. He might. He certainly oh. looks like he has a chance now. Spotted no! and finds another Kriaz with two after sitting next to Electronic. Position. He knows where they are, but he won't be touching this bomb by the looks of things here. Doesn't find the kip. Starts to retreat. Doesn't even get the consolation frag as he will be going back towards the connector. Six to one, Simon Gaming. What to say about what's going on in the Na'Vi camp at this point. They have a chance to turn it around and well, through simple. He's dropped the AWP, he's given it to Flame, he's taken the M4 and he's found an opening. <laughs> there we go. We were just talking about him and he's come alive instantaneously. Well, simple's here with Perfecto now. So a bit more firepower. Both of them for simple. Take a flash to the face though, but they haven't checked the spools out just yet until now. Perfecto has been given a bit of a foundation at this point, but back to a three on three. Mo, deadly as ever, but the trades continue to be delivered. 35 seconds, Flamey has missed a few orb shots today. Coming with four kills, this one has to connect and oh. he's flashed off. He can sit in that now if he wants to. Or oh. peek over it like a one way, Boomich. He could see nothing there and he gets the info at the top of the ladder. This is nuts. Yeah, outplaying them every step of the way. It's hard to explain. Norbert will finish this one. Surely, no, not to be. No ammo in his AK. Flamey perhaps has a up. shot. He has the kit. Up against the orb, probably the best port of call here, but it will be Mo. P to 50 out, couple of bullets land. This one, logic that takes, they should be able to convert it. Simple, doesn't hit the shot again. He's still down there at two and nine right now, looking for anything he can get. There it is, third frag obtained, and they've got himself a five on three here. Inside split, we've got a player towards the lower round. That's going to be Norbert, who's been playing out of his mind the last couple of rounds. Surely is where Na'Vi will close out around round here. Yeah, you definitely think so. I think that with Mo being left in a clutch and with 6 HP, he's more interested in preservation of the AWP. He's going to get offered another kill right here. Wasn't ready for it. Electronic takes him down. They will not... Oh. That's a little lay on the incendiary. Perfecto's in a lot of hot water, jumping over his spray. They find the first, so, and they're across to the bomb. He was so committed there. The incendiary was late. There was nothing he could really do, but maybe Simple can. There will be a four and four found here. They've got at least a kit available, but in terms of utility, they'll have to drop those smokes on top of the bomb and start getting the defuse going. It's going to be Neelan, though, behind enemy lines, and he'll be watching that first player. No problem. A double kill is found. This is wonderful. And again, I don't think they can justify going for this one. Maybe that will invite them in a little bit closer, but just simple remains and not for much longer. Double digits, 10 to 2, and money ruined again on the CT side. A very viable map within their pool, and it just looks woeful here. This derby continues wow. to impress as Simon Gaming get yet another opening frag. Perfecto, that's the best thing he's done all half, I'm afraid. That's going to be a double kill with the FAMAS, taking his total. This is looking positive if Simple gets caught here. A shot from Mo, but no, back to turn. It only gets one. It should be fine. Ooh. Electronic confirms it, but yes, another uncharacteristic miss. Wait. I've been on the periphery of it. Yeah. Uh, I just know that there was a, a vote to a lot of uh, professional players about some names, newer names to the FPL circuit, and apparently some, uh, some communities feel it was unjust names removed. So maybe Simon Gaming were part of that. Yeah, perhaps. And uh, this is looking good. It's the final round of this first half, and things starting to look a little bit more normal. Yeah, I've got a five versus two. Kriaz and Mo will certainly go for this one, but their time is certainly limited. Four versus one. Still a fantastic first half here, Alex. Four. 
know where he is. He knows where one of them is, and there's two orbs in pop. My goodness, he's trying to play the tight line, and he will eventually fall. Simon, they have made quite the announcement. We'll see the P250s out, the smokes and flashes to be deployed towards Connector. It's looking good for a fast pounce towards that lower ramp. Norbert, oh. too hot to handle. He's down to 11 HP. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Gets a fresh clip, though, to have one last bite of the cherry, but Perfecto and Flamey fill the feed. Na'Vi with a man advantage and already do have access to that bomb. Neil, and they know where he is. He's actually being pushed from three different angles. My God, Simple wants to challenge. Draws the fire, trying to hope that Electronic can finish the job, but Neil and continuing to keep a bit of a delay on the proceedings here. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive what he's done so far, but that's even oh. more so. Simple erupts in the second half there. Beautiful entrance with the pistol. He's waiting for the queue. That's perfect. That will keep them at bay, keep them channeled forwards straight into the only defense there. Simple's already got one, though. Kriaz, he didn't get to pull the trigger, and this missed shot from Mo is starting to haunt him. Norbert's only got the one. It's Simple gone. 3v4 for the retake. Neelan gives them a way in. That's a start. Electronic is the backtrack flank, though, and he's considering it. Flamey should have at least one here. He's in a good spot to get it, but they do spot his toes and upgrade for Neelan. Electronics flank's gonna have to start coming in soon because Perfecto is getting a lot of pressure thrown his way. Yeah, and he hasn't been delivering in terms of the frags. It's a nice open plan. Electronic can still win this. He'll have to go for a huge backstab. He's got time as well. He checks it and he can't do it. Kiel's aware of it. Hearing some footsteps of connector as well, I'm sure helped. But that was Na'Vi with the opening kill towards inside there. It's looking very good. Okay. But that doesn't mean they start pushing, and this time Perfecto doesn't win his duel. They'll leave now. They've called main clear. We've even got a frag. Let's worry about some other extremities of the map. Ivy, Pop Dog, both now being addressed. 15 seconds. The bomb's in main. Simple, tossing it to Electronic, hoping he can make a beeline for the site. He's executed. But now, eight seconds. They can't even plant. Simple's going to have to jump out with the bomb out, and the round is won. Wow. Simon Gaming, they can't believe their luck. They don't even have to finish killing them to have that round brought home. Oh, luckily, Flamey does save the orb. Leadership voice not being quite as clear as other teams. Uh, well, just in that situation with Simon doing some fantastic work. The flash comes in, electronic and simple will chime in. So this is better. But yeah, if we just look at that point, because they took main control, they knew that they didn't have information right. there, right? So they, they wanted to take that back, see if they could win the fights right there. And then you would expect one player to be isolated on the inner bomb site. Didn't go their way, but these ones are. Neil will get a kill. Eventually gets taken down, but he took the danger man of Simple out, who's now up to 13 frags. Oh. If they don't check this position, why would they? He could get a double, but fair enough from Electronic. They're very aware of every possibility. Norbert, four versus one. Probably going to find his first goal, no problem, but the second will elude him as Perfecto. And we're picking up his 13th frag as well. Getting nervous, 30. Well, the problem with this is if you do have any sort of trades or weird jewels, then you really are buggered. That's the bomb. The bomb's coming from main. The bomb now locked in and simple. He's been detected. They know there's a player here. They can trade off them. Oh, maybe they can't. That's what you need to do. Uh, oh. He just bullies his way out of main entrance. That might be enough. Yeah, 15 seconds, but it's not a problem for simple. He had no help, no team to support that bomb's arrival in the site, but he just takes them both oh. down. A good catch from Neil oh. and then a dink into simple. Maybe there's something to be said about this one. It's left to Kriaz. Two to find. He's looking active. And the oh spray through the God. smoke is positive. Brings Flamey down low, looking for the final frag. He's got a broken glass. He hears the drop of Flamey. I think that's enough for him. I think you might be right. Looks like Kriaz is out of luck. We need to see if they can take Na'Vi down before we get into some of these late round scenarios. Perfecto straight out mid, so a bit of a change. He goes down. That's what I'm talking about. Mo finds the opening. There you go, and now Boomich just leaps out of Pop Dog. Norbert's gonna get a double off that. And Na'Vi, they try and switch up the pace, but it cost them the round. Simple just ate a nade. He's forced into a two ver Oh, he's look at the line. He's looking at the perfect angle for it, but very, very quick reactions required to hit a shot like that. Simple will dart away. Looks like he's got a prime setup here to shut them out. A nice little grenade as well lands in the pocket of Electronic to get at least one of these kills or both. That would be fantastic. And he'll convert that. There's actually five players surviving. 40 seconds. This is when I get nervous because I do a quick smoke check. And no, actually, no smokes for the CT. He's in Norbert. He does well to find one. Neil and immediately knee jerk to fill the gap. And he smoked himself off. They know what's going on. It was a flash, excuse me. 
18 seconds remaining right now. Electronic needs a couple of kills, and he's actually got an open outside bomb site. Simple can plant towards. There's inner. 10 seconds. He's got no time. Oh, you can't do anything with this. A little, um, what's the word? Anticlimactic. Yeah, that's that's the 15th. That was the crucial round. So they can get this bomb planted at this stage, but Simple has the bomb still. He's at lower ramp. He'll have to cross over, and the Tech Nine will get a kill. Perfecto finds it towards Mo, and that could be enough. Does look like that frag has done a lot of the heavy lifting for this retake now. The CTs do have to overcome a man disadvantage. This AWP has posted up. It's supposed to be very difficult, but a missed shot from this AWP. Not a second, though. Simple does not make the same mistake twice. He takes two with him. And now Kriaz thrust into a one versus three. Spots another. He's already taken down one. If he can find Boomich quickly, we're on. But Boomich is being a cheeky rascal on that ladder. It could cost him, though. There is a kit on Kriaz. Electronic only a tech nine, but he's not choosing to go for it. Doesn't feel like he's going to be able to bait that out. He would have to have just held it at that point. He's locked in. Flashed as well. Oh, he's so dead. Perfect execution from Simple. The flashbang was flawless. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Kios, a smoke of his own as well. That's going to make them to go gray screen or wait. There's only 20 seconds they can't afford to. Navi, not like this. Well, Their worst go. enemy. It's the clock. And Mo, he's got another. They're running out of time. 10 seconds. They're nowhere near the bomb train. Where is the bomb? Simple's gone down. Simon Gaming with oh, just enough time. Simple could try, but he's gone down. And Simon Gaming have done it. Over the course of three maps, they take out Navi.